Blood Boys Think, and I'm the owner of Hi Ho Silver. We're going to talk today about our favorite line, Camellia. Just when you think you have enough bracelets and beads, and you swap beads out from time to time, now you can take it a step further with their three necklaces and three earrings that they have just introduced. The three style necklaces range in price from $100 to $150. We have the oval link, we have the multi-strand, and my favorite, the tassel. With the earrings, you have three different styles of earrings. In sterling silver, they're $40. And in, uh, with CZs, they are $55. So let's talk a little bit about the versatility of all of these necklaces. And let me show you how easy it is to put beads on and off of your necklace. Versatility is the main feature of this particular oval link necklace, and it's very simple. It comes in sections. You have an oval link attached to a chain with another oval link attached to a chain and all the way around. This necklace is $150 retail. If you want to add length, which a lot of ladies do, one section is $32. Now you can do the beads two ways on here. You can actually put a bead on the oval link itself, or as we have shown here, on the chain. So the way to put the beads on is these very easily unlatch. They're hinged on this side, and you simply pull them apart. and the bead slides on and off. Like I said, if you wanted, you could put the bead through the actual oval itself, then attach the chain. You guys have me nervous now that I'm on camera. Mm -hmm. And voila. Long necklaces are really in fashion, and again, the versatility of this is that you can add particular uh, beads, if you have beads that you want to shop for in order to make it longer. Once you do get it longer, you can also double it around and have a multi-strand appearance. Let's talk about the second one the multi-strand. This is a patented clasp that Camellia has come up with, and it's called the harpoon clasp. It's very easy. You really don't need to pull terribly hard on it. It simply just snaps in and out. So to put beads on, all you do it opens from both sides. Let's see if I can have a few samples here. The bead, there's no threading to it, even though the bead in and of itself is threaded. Unlike the bracelet, you don't have to screw it on. very, very updated look, and it swings back and forth, it really moves with you. Again, you don't have to worry about your beads falling all around. It really moves with you very nicely. A very delicate flow. And last, my favorite, the tassel necklace. Again, the back has the patented harpoon clasp, which is very easy to pull in and out. But the beads don't go on this part up here. This piece down here moves, so it's more of a lariat or Y-style necklace. 
and all the beads will hang vertically as you see here. So as you add more beads, this simply moves up. Or just to have a couple of punches of color, just put a handful of beads down at the bottom. This has the harpoon clasp at the back, but how you put the beads on, it's another harpoon clasp at the bottom. The little tassel comes apart. Your beads come on and off very easily. And it reattaches like so.